So uh, I haven't seen any videos on the Ona Crosby, which is this bag, and uh, I thought I'd just post something real quick. I picked it up. I've only used it a couple times, but uh, it's a nice bag, and I thought I'd quickly just talk about it just because nobody else has. I wanted a small bag. I have a, a larger Ona, <clears throat> the, I think it's the Brixton, and it's good for like a, a camera and some lenses, like my X-T1 and a couple lenses or even uh, it even would fit a DSLR. But I wanted something smaller. I used to have a, there was a Dom key, I forget, it's a common one people have, it was small, I ended up selling it. It was a wax canvas bag, but uh, didn't really have anything left. Picked this up, mostly for kind of a smaller setup like this. So it's a pretty simple bag. Has a, it's really good quality, like you know, all the Onas, but you have the zipper compartment. You know, you may put like a, use a, like a lens cleaning cloth, microfiber cloth, maybe a battery or something. You can put something loose in the back and then it zips both ways. It's really nice quality. It's like some, looks like, like your grandfather's like vintage leather bomber jacket. Smells amazing. You know, it's, you can't convey the smell on video. Uh, typical of Ona, you know, good details. Has the, their name kind of embossed or whatever in it. And uh, good buckles. These come off and are, they kind of swivel and everything. Uh, inside, you know, standard, has a little bit of leather on the top, but then it's just the one removable thing. And, you know, this is a, a X-T10, obviously, with a tiny 27 millimeter lens, and it fits in really well. The only thing that's a little bit annoying about this is it has these brass zippers that are kind of exposed. I mean, you can unzip it all the way, but not careful when you care about your gear it's going to scratch a little bit so i try to you know open it up all the way and then take it in and out so i'm not you know just basically adding unnecessary metal wear on everything because you know this fit this uh black paint will scratch and uh yeah so you know this works really well and you know you can have this camera in here you could probably, I mean, you could fit an X-T1 with this lens and no battery grip for sure. Uh, with the battery grip, I don't think it would fit. I can't show it to you, I'm recording this with the X-T1. But what you could do is basically have the compact setup. So you have the camera with the tiny lens. Uh, really, I mean, you could probably at an angle or something maybe fit it with like the 35 or the 23 F2. But you can fit a big lens. This is the 55 to 200. Uh, this will fit in here. It was even space to, to spare. Uh, you could have that in there, or you could have maybe a lens like the the 1614. It's about the same girth, but not as long. It will fit in there. What I've done actually is I'll have a couple film cameras with this. So you know, I have my my XA Olympus XA, and this is just this little headphone bag thing. And then maybe even the this is the Stylus Epic, you know, what I've done, actually on the last trip I took this with, just quick day trip, I stuffed a couple of these, basically I had, uh, what is it, Kodak P3200, TMZ, the T-Max 3200, that knew the re-release in that camera, I was finishing that roll, and then I have, uh, I don't even remember what I have in my, my XA at the moment, uh, maybe Color Plus 200 or something, and Oh, no, 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 sorry, I have a Superior 800 in here. So basically there's two different rolls of film, so different purposes. And uh, I had that, and then I had my digital to uh, take some pictures of my kids. So I was visiting my father and uh, took a video of them as well. The X-T1 works okay for video if you don't have autofocus on. And uh, that's kind of what I'll do. So that works. Another possibility, I haven't honestly done this myself, but uh, this is a so size comparison. Here's a, a Leica ME or same, basically the same body as the M9. And uh, you could theoretically fit it in here. I need to take this out or re basically relocate it. But you know, again, I'm trying not to, this, the zipper is kind of annoying because I don't want it to be up my cameras, but this would fit. So I could put it that way, probably could put it this way at an angle. And actually, you know what, I could even keep it upright. It would still fit. So I could fit, you could fit a Leica uh, M with the lens, I, I really only have this this one Leica, this one Leica lens. These things are freaking super expensive and used. This is a really old camera from 2012, and uh, then I have a Voigtlander uh, 35, 
So it's not like I have a lot of Leica kit, and mainly I just shoot it with the, the 50 Summicron. But you could fit a nice compact Leica kit in here. So, you know, maybe this, put the, the divider back in, and you could fit another lens right there. So it works for kind of the compact setup. So, you know, it, it's, it's cool for that. I just really love the, the dark brown the smell. I, I keep mentioning the smell, but man, it just smells smells so good like an old like a really good quality old american or it's a bomber jacket american bomber jacket leather jacket and then uh you know, the zipper especially i complain about the zippers being you know i don't want them to scratch up my camera bodies unnecessarily you know it's unnecessary wear they are a brass zipper so like this is a really good quality zipper and i actually really like this kind of green olive green kind of color going on on the whatever you call the like the nylon part the zipper's attached to. But it's a really good quality bag, it's small, you can adjust the strap a little bit, and it's just like, you know, oozes good quality like all Ona products. Looks really good and uh, I recommend it. It's a cool bag. This is the Ona Crosby. Thanks.